All right, what's up, everybody? Keith Jameson, Governor Guy 231 across the DFS industry. Recording this early, DraftKings posting what is tomorrow? Tuesday's slate very, very early. So we have Spain and Morocco starting off, and then we have Portugal and Switzerland in the end game. Neither team are overwhelming favorites. We'll talk about Spain, though. Despite not being overwhelming, money betting favorite are still like a possession dominant favorite here. Uh, but quick reminder, like, subscribe, comment. Let's just jump right into it. Um, Spain's like minus 175. That being said, I could see this easily being 65, 70% possession. We just saw Spain lose to Japan two to one and have about 81% of possession complete some absurd amount of passes. Like I remember Rodri at center back had I think like 200 passes completed. Um, that is just their style. Very, very, very ball dominant, which is going to take so many of those Morocco players from a cash perspective, just completely out of the belt. If you want to find, go after them for GPP, for goals, for assists, that's fine. But from a floor perspective, it's really hard to target a guy like Ziyech, a guy like Hakimi. So I don't really think that they're much in play for cash slash optimal. GPP only, and then I'll kind of stack them. You know, if you go ahead and say, all right, I think Morocco is going to win. One nothing or two one, then it's like ZH. You could, you, know, you could do Akimi, you could do a Nessery, Bono and Goal, and just roll that out. In cash, though, we're going to be looking at the Spain side. I think two of the top cash plays on the entire slate is Danny Omo, who's forward eligible, taking the majority of their set pieces. When in, he's been splitting with Marcos Asensio, who's sub 7K. He's only midfield, but you know those are guys that we can go with pretty decent floors. And you know, based on being the biggest favorite on the slate decent upside relative to their price um maybe not Olmo. like almost expensive but forward is really hard like if you don't use him like i'm struggling to get a second forward much less one and that's with Olmo plugged in um jordi alba i think has a great floor as well at defender i would consider him my top defender on the slate like just overall raw points maybe if you um go price per dollar if guerrero from portugal's in i probably prefer him um yeah, so Alba, I think that's really kind of your cash place from Spain. Morata, if in, is fine. Um, it'll be interesting, though. We've seen Spain's, like, number one lineup be Olmo, Asensio through the middle, and then Ferran Torres on the right. But um, but Morata, like, when, he, when he's in, he scores. So Spain needs goals here. So um, I do expect him probably in. And then I was thinking Asensio off the right. But we'll see. The good news is it's the first game. Um, whoever's been playing right back for, for them, uh, Danny Carvajal or Azpilicueta, um, they don't get four nearly as much as Alba, so I'm not like running running off to get them. And then that midfield, kind of meh, Gavi, Busquets, Pedri, all really good players, but they're just not advancing too far forward, not getting a ton of shots, not getting crosses, really, things like that. All right, that is Spain and Morocco. Let's move to the second game, which is Portugal and Switzerland. Let's start on the Portuguese side. I think Bruno Fernandes is a lock and load. He's expensive, but he's taking a majority of their set pieces. Um, has been involved with what it feels like all their goals. Um, scoring a few himself, uh, as well as getting assists. Um, you know, scoring himself on the, uh, the Ronaldo, you know, did it touch his hair or not? Whatever. But Bruno's been great, so I think you lock in Bruno. Um, Ronaldo will be one of the biggest decisions on the slate because second forward is so bad and his price is 7,800. I think it's going to attract a lot of people. Uh, I, I don't think Ronaldo looks all that good. Um, but he's Ronaldo. Like, if there's a penalty, you know he's going to take it. Um, if there's a direct free kick out of the box, whether it's best for him to take it or not, we know he's going to take it. So I still think his floor is pretty decent. And for the price, like, I get it. Um, I think a GPP, just knowing how heavily owned Ronaldo will be, a pretty good fade. Um, what I really want to talk about is the, the Portuguese defenders. If in at left back, Rafael Guerrero, I think, should be splitting sets with Bruno Fernandes. He's 4,800. It would be a lock of the slate for me. The hard part about that is just depending on how you build, the difference between his price and Jao Cancelo and Diego Delo. We know Cancelo could go play left back with Delo playing right back. Um, it's a pretty big, big difference. I want to say Delo is 5,500, Cancelo, I can't recall if he's more or less. Um, but, um, yeah, I, mean, I, I like all their fullbacks, so um, we'll just have to see um, who starts there. 
Uh, Bernardo Silva, really cheap forward punt, so I think that he's viable as well if you need it. Um, final, uh, and nothing, nobody else on Portugal in play for me. Um, just final on the Switzerland side of things. Um, Vargas at 4,900 has been splitting sets with Shakiri. Uh, 49 is a really good price for set split, midfield eligible. You know, he could be a kind of guy that used to flex. Um, there are other two cash plays, Ricardo Rodriguez, who used to take sets, but doesn't make an attacking left back. And Shakiri. Shakiri, I find really, really hard to play on this late. Um, kind of lucked out with goals from him on the last game, or um, his floor has really not been all that great. GPP YOLO type of play is uh, Brio and Bolo in the middle. Um, so for a cheap, he was playing kind of like a number 10 role. It's not really his best role, but, you know, for a cheap, I can see it. Like, him or Jaka, I guess that works. So, um, build with your Spain guys early. Um, you know, Omo for sure. Uh, Asensio of N. Use Bruno. Figure out if you're going to play Ronaldo or how you can do a second forward and move on from there. I think you should do well. Thank you guys for watching. That was it. See you.